Hi everybody, this is Dana Longpray for One of Them the Film with Romans 12 Entertainment and I have a very exciting announcement for you. We have a fundraiser blitz coming up on Monday. It's going to be 30 days, okay, of random acts of kindness and this is to represent my desire to give back to the community. So in Milwaukee County for 30 days, I'm going to do a random act of kindness and you're going to get to see what I'm doing. Now, why am I doing this. I'm doing this to represent foster kids who come successfully got through the system to to mature and come back and give to the community. So I want Milwaukee County to know that. I want Milwaukee County to know that my film is coming out and I'm looking for you guys to support that through 10 people every day. I'm going to reach out to you. I have 926 friends on Facebook and I'm going to choose 10 of you a day 10 to 15 of you, I'm gonna tag you and I'm gonna ask you, would you be willing to contribute $10 so that I can film my production in June 2nd through 11th in order to bring my message of hope to other foster kids and orphans all across the United States and even Uganda, because there's a lot of people in Uganda waiting for this film, John 316 Film Productions. Thank you so much for supporting me with your prayers. Thank you, um, Patrick Mosigua, who is the director of, of Victory in God Christian Children's Home Uganda for supporting me with your prayers. And we're supporting them right back because I want to tell you the mission statement for Romans 12 Entertainment, if you haven't heard it yet, it it exists in order to produce films with true stories of orphans and foster kids overcoming incredible odds with the hand of God is grace and mercy to come through to the other side in victory and then in turn to take the profits from these films and put them back into projects that support and educate and financially benefit foster kids. And so one of the two places that I have as my short term goal, actually three places are number one, the Milwaukee Rescue Mission. Okay. And I just found out they have a school. Okay. And it's called da, 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 something Academy. <laughs> I, I, I think it's called training something Academy. I will put it in I will put it in the comment, okay, up here when I post this. So don't worry. I signed up to volunteer with them because I didn't know this, you guys, but they actually have a school for homeless children. How perfect is that? I can't wait to go volunteer. It goes all the way up to high school and it's a Christian school in the middle of Milwaukee. So I'm excited to work with those kids and to give them hope that they're, they're gonna make it. I'm praying I can do an assembly there. So that's one of the acts of kindness I hope to do. So there's a little heads up there. That's one of the things I'm planning on. And number two, the other two places I support are, uh, be, it's called Birchwood Behavioral Health, okay, which was the place that I used to live. It was the group home I lived for a whole year in Alaska in Anchorage, okay, and they're doing great things for for the homeless and needy children of of Anchorage and the, and actually the whole state. So kids can get moved there from all over the state to get nurtured in the Word of God and to get the healing therapies they need to get the mental to mental mental healing and emotional healing they need to become young citizens stable emotional citizens in the community like what what they did for me okay because that was the longest placement i had was a year long is with them so thank god for them and then also a uh, victory in god christian children's home uganda which is the group home that patrick mosigua at Jet Sky Official, okay, so you hear me talking about him all the time. I met him on Facebook like two years ago, and I was just so moved with his heart and joy for serving the children of Mambarara, Uganda, okay. He was also a homeless kiddo on the streets of Uganda and is a refugee from Rwanda. So I want to say that, you know, the funds that I the profits that we make, we're not even making any profits right now, you guys, but my husband and I are the sole providers for that group home right now. I want you to know that uh, we have contributions of around 50 to this month was generous to $400 a month, but we're giving $530 a month uh, to support these 23 orphans 
because it's only Patrick and the house mom serving these kids, guys. It's incredible what he's doing. He opens his arms to these kids and they're getting nurtured in, in the Bible and educated and loved and have a safe place, warm, safe home. The home is gorgeous. So I'm gonna do a video with him pretty soon and you get to see what's going on there. I send videos to Birchwood Behavioral Health and I, I my long-term goal is to support them more in any way that I can. And for one thing, when this film comes out, I wanna go up to Alaska and do a movie premiere with them. And then I want to, you know, I'm gonna treat them. I wanna have the film shown in theater, in a theater up there. And then they're all gonna get um, makeovers and, and get all decked out. And then they're gonna get to go to the movie with me. So, and I'm gonna tell them, look, I was where you were and I'm, I was one of them. That's why the film's called One of Them, okay? And Jesus was one of us, okay? Because he, he lived as a human being. He humbled himself and died on the cross and rose from the grave three days later. And you know, he overcame death. He overcame all the sins of the world so that we could, you know, the workers who are putting their heart and soul into serving these kids, uh, kids like me, okay, that went through these kind of group homes were served because of what God has done to renew the workers to serve these kids. Gosh, guys, you, you have no idea how much work it is to serve these kids day in and day out because we had traumas and emotional mood swings and, and we would get upset and they, they're nurturing us through that. These foster parents and these group homes and, and these other, and just regular foster parents are nurturing, was nurturing us us through these things day and night. And one of my foster moms who's represented in the film, she actually had like 95 kids go through her home. And I, I was one of them. So that went through the home. So there's one of them again. <laughs> so anyway, uh, my random act of kindness, let me go back to that. I know I'm a little bit rambly, but I'm just so excited. So I'm going to, I'm going to give a shout out to 10 or 15 of you a day for that 30 day blitz. And I'm gonna be asking you to contribute because I need to fund, I need to fund the hotel for my my um, my actors because they're gonna be coming from all over the United States. They need a place to sleep to help tell this story. So let's respect them, let's help uplift them so that they can, they can um, work hard because there is a cast of 30 teenagers and around 32 adults, okay? And then plus extras, it's gonna be a cast, it's gonna be huge, it's gonna be like around around 80 people, okay, are gonna be in this film. And so, so if we all pull together, we can get this to screen. And there's a lot of people asking for this film already. They, uh, when I went and pitched it, at Content Film Festival a year ago, they were all like, tell me when you get to post-production, and these were streaming services, okay? Streaming platforms, tell us when you get to post-production. Everybody, I'm not gonna say who they are right now, but those people were excited about having this film because it's a true story, okay, guys? My true story of getting through foster care. Okay, I wanna uplift uh, three, three things right now. I wanna uplift God for getting me through foster care, and if you notice, I always hashtag everything, hashtag, God got me through foster care, okay? So when I go do my my random acts of kindness, I'm gonna have a, a shirt on that says that hashtag on it, okay? It's gonna be super sweet. And I'm just gonna, and I want your suggestions too, okay? So when I start the 30 day blitz, it's gonna be a fun, I wanna do all the fundraising in 30 days. That's what I wanna emphasize, that we are gonna get all the funds needed to film June 2nd through the 11th. So that's what the blitz is all about. It's to draw attention to the foster kids can give back to the community, so I'm going to be doing that, and and um, and I want you to su to support me on my blitz, because guys, I'm going to be exhausted, right? After 30 days, I'm going to pile my kids into the car, and Joe, I'm like, okay, Joe, uh, you know, he's doing snow removal, he's working around the clock, 24/7, but he and Nathan and Caroline are supporting me making this film. Guys, can you support me too, right? So that other foster kids, so many of them are gonna be encouraged by this true story, my true story that they can also make it. That's the whole point of the film, guys. It's to uplift and support other foster kids, to encourage them in their talents and give them talents that they can also grow in them and go out there and go get them. And it's because I want the proceeds of, of my film to go to, to eventually uh, focusing on on them getting educated in their in their areas of interest. That's my long-term goal, okay? You need to know that. So Romans 12 is going for nonprofit status this year so that I can I can start putting profits toward all those things, okay? So that's that's like a five-year goal, right? Because that's a lot of things. Because like, right now I'm supporting just one place, then Birchwood, I, I wanna support them more. They're in Anchorage, Alaska. And then 
and then overall just supporting educational programming for foster kids to go out and get their goals. So that's that's my 30 day blitz is all about getting the funds to just make this first film, okay? So please come on board with me. I will tag you, all my Facebook friends, there's 926 of you, okay? Plus or minus. And I'm gonna be tagging you and asking you specifically if you're willing to come on board and just with $10, guys, is gonna get, get this thing we're gonna just blast this thing, okay? And finally, I wanna tell you that in the middle to end of April, I'm going to have a gala and you're invited, okay? So if you're in driving distance of, of the Milwaukee County area, you can get in on this, okay? Because on on this gala, there's gonna be my, my sizzle, which is like a movie trailer, okay? That's gonna be going on there. And then we're gonna have t-shirts, to purchase and then my book in a van down by the river okay that's going to be available for purchase there's going to be cast testimonies that you're going to hear and you're gonna you're gonna just um uh hear some of the music and behind the scenes and one of the things there's going to be like behind the scenes secrets why is my character called Aaron? Some of you don't know that my character is called Aaron. I'm actually gonna play myself, the older version of myself, and Kylie Opsel, the award-winning actress, is gonna play the teen version of myself, and I'm so honored to have her. She's involved in so many other films right now, and I just feel very privileged to have her. She's an incredible actor, and she, um, there's so many scenes where she has to do so much crying, you guys, and she, when we did the sizzle, I mean, she just did scene after scene flawlessly. She's just, she's just absolutely gorgeous and hardworking and she's only 14 and she just knocked it out of the park. So guys, you're going to be blown away by, by her, um, her interpretation of my story is just, is just spot on. Okay. And so, and then all the other actors are just amazing. I handpicked them all. And a lot of them I already knew from different, different films that I was on or, um, or going through Shine with Carrie Lewis, I gotta give her a shout out. And I also finally wanna say that through the support of God and through the support of my foster parents and through the support of my mother, so a lot of you are may not be aware that when I got into care, she reached out to me within uh, a month or two and was was re starting to reconnect with me and we slowly built back our relationship and, and um, you know, I want to be honest, you know, we're not on the same page with everything, but, but you know what it comes down to guys that that doesn't matter. You know, we love each other, we're family and, um, and I wasn't going to let anything get in the way of, of, um, reconnecting with my mother because, Hey, it's your mom, you know, it's like, and she went out of her way to reach out to me and that speaks volumes about her. And I just want to take a moment to uplift her. So in this film, you know, it's all about, you know, when you see the endings, the end, you're going to see how much, uh, I appreciate, you know, my family and my foster parents and God who brought me through this incredible trial. Okay. So, uh, you know, there's no bitterness on my heart in any way. And anyway, so I want to wrap this up, but look for the gala invitation. Okay. That's going to be blasted out to you as soon as I secure my location, which is going to be, uh, at River Glen, I'm hoping. And we're just solidifying paperwork for that now for the gala. So much fun going to happen there. And then my 30-day blitz, okay? So look for the blitz. I'm going to be live on location in these places. And, you're, and I'm going to upload all this to YouTube. So join me. Get on board. Help me pay for my actor's hotel and their food. They need to eat, right? Okay? And I need to pay them their wages. And I have to get Kylie's plane ticket, guys. So I'm going to put those things in order on my a priority and you can do give send go link you can do uh you can do paypal cash app whatever and just put in the note whether you want to do plane ticket or hotel or whatever but i'm going to have a priority list of what order i need those things in all right so i've talked a long time i love you very much thank you for caring thank you for supporting foster kids so they can get the encouragement and support that i did let's give it back to them with this film that can be a catalyst in their lives so that they know that they're loved they're cared for they're seen and their story is heard because so many of them are going to be able to relate to this story so thank you i love you god bless you and and let's 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 make a movie <laughs>